Luca was fantastic, as was Josh Minat. They were the two catalysts that brought Minnesota back in that basketball game. So I, I, I'm going to be really interested to see how Rob Dillingham does, too. He played so well in game one. Here's Dillingham in the backcourt. Terrence Shannon Jr. with a nice drive and a finish. That's what I'm talking about. The 27th pick. The draft said we've got steal in the draft right there. And Terrence Shannon Jr., the athleticism is on display there. Gordon leaves it short, and TJ grabs the rebound. TJ had the last shot of the game last night for Minnesota as Minot gets the transition ahead to go. ACL tears. This sometimes uh, they, they don't always come back right away. It takes some time. It's, TJ gets pushed that time on his way to the basket by Michael Porter Jr. Garza needs to be a better rebound. That's probably one of the main things I think. If, that, if that's one thing that you could add to his game, that could say that, that he does so many things well, though, man, I just I, I just can't tell you. It's it's hard for these guys. Might not might be kind of the odd man out because you know, you're not going to play Joe Ingles. I mean, it's going to be between. Oh, how about that charge taken by TJ? I call it a block. Garza drives, floats, and Luca Garza drops one through the net. And uh, spent his first year in the NBA just rehabbing, trying to get on the court. Terrence Shannon Jr. It's about the spot where he had the look in Chicago last night. And tonight, uh, we're looking forward to Tuesday night when things get going for real. There's Terrence Shannon dropping one through. Thank you for your time, Mike Conley. All right, thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it, Mike. Good athlete. Mine out try it again. That one's short. Terrence Shannon Jr., nice job running it down, but he is uh, trying to save it past, went right to the Nuggets. Strother, no. He wants someplace else, but I, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope he ends up staying here. What a block. Yeah, Garza part of the defense on Joker. The rejection, Shannon Jr. Oh, Terrence Shannon Jr. Rejected by the rim. Again, nice job by Josh Minot as the low man coming over to help. Umaruye. Six seconds to go. Porter Jr. Drives, it's blocked by Minot. A good way to end the first half, a block by Josh Minot. And you know, go to the finals two years ago, make it to the second round last year, and then to play in the Olympics, it's, it's a lot for these guys, a lot of wear and tear. Jalen Clark getting the nod here. Shannon Jr. on the baseline with a drive. That one rolls off. It's, it's, I, I just looking, was looking forward to it. Nikola Jokic has not scored in this game, by the way. That is his second <laughs> shot attempt. Yeah. And I'm, Jokic I'm, played 18 minutes in the first half. You know, sometimes just being who you are and being a role player is, is what you got to do. Knicks, top of the key. The scoring spree continues for Dacian Knicks. And Brown then blocks the shot of Terrence Shannon Jr. The Timberwolves resting there. Shannon Jr. leaves it for Garza. He has such a nice soft touch. We saw him hit on the baseline on both sides of the rim last night in Chicago. He's got 23 points. He scored the last 10 for Minnesota. Shannon Jr. off the miss. Finger roll, no good for Strother. From the corner, Dillingham hits it from distance. And yes, I can do it, but I'm I'm not as good as you are. Andy. You are just so good at, at, at just the research. And you know what? Great golfer, by the way, too. Oh, I'll put that in my notes. <laughs> oh, Shannon Jr. lost the handle. Played it. Mike Conley, do you know, carries left-handed and right-handed clubs. I, I, I played with Mike. He's a very good Crazy golfer. golfer. Yes, he is. It will come to an end, 132-126 in the final game of the Timberwolves preseason.